Hey there lovely people, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. As you can see, I am a um, little bit outdoors today, a uh, little bit unwell. First of all, I, yesterday I got into a little bit of, uh, you know, too much of uh, sugar, ice and uh, rich food. So a little bit unwell. So I woke up pretty late. Time is around 2 p.m. here. <coughs> Sorry. And I decided to do these videos because I have three videos set for you. I don't know what's going to be like because uh, out doors a lot of things happen people come up and you know noise and all that so if any interruption i'm sorry about that but i want to do these videos so i have three episodes as i told you i even brought uh, my coffee with me uh, because i need some and uh, thing is uh, this kind of weather why i came here because winter is starting as you can tell during this kind of time of october mostly i come up uh, and then I do some videos because the weather is very pleasant and also uh, the breeze is flowing very nicely so you get a uh, flavor of winter so in this particular episode let me do a list then we'll do individual reviews okay so the list is about blue fragrances usually blue fragrances only are uh, known for summer and summertime uh, blue fragrances fresh fragrances they do really well but uh, i mean uh, if you come to bangladesh our winter is a little bit different early days of winter like october ending november starting this kind of time is going to stay a little bit sunny like this and then it's going to the breeze is going to flow throughout the day and then after uh, 4 or 5 p.m. the sun will set and also the weather will become a little bit cooler so november december winter foggy weather will start as you know and uh, you know but this kind of weathers i like to wear blue fragrance so let's start uh, we have five fragrances uh, perhaps it will rain one of these days and the uh, fog will start first fragrance i'll show you is ahmed al maghribi azure royal and it matches my uh, attire today what am i wearing uh, felt like wearing blue okay um sorry just woke up so i look you know not maybe out of the place but this perfume i definitely know is a great fragrance it's a blue perfume with a lot of freshness <clears throat> good performance ahmed al maghribi usually they do provide good quality uh, this smells really really nice this one it smells like familiar i mean this is in the category of uh, versace menu fresh you know some of the other blue perfumes but it has its own smell you know and the thing is this fragrance is very fresh and it's kind of oceanic if you like uh mega mare type of fragrances dior sauvage venue fresh it's a hybrid of all days and a little bit of a middle eastern touch as well a very beautiful bottle if you can see i showed you before very nice sort of like crown on the cap and if you take like this much of the bottle it does look like a scandal purom by jean paul so very heavy quality bottle and very nice quality bottle sprayers are very good too and i think uh, these perfumes Yeah, I caught some on my hand. It smells like tropical. Okay, it also smells like melons and stuff. So this one for the winter, early days of winter, not saying that, you know, it will work in winter of Europe, but our side of the winter, this will work fine in the daytime. If you want to wear something fresh, Azure Royal. Number two is a fragrance I am willing to actually let go, but I don't know uh, this fragrance, not because of this, any fragrance I have in abundance. Sometimes I have, you know, a policy of uh, share clearing the shelf but perhaps i'll keep this this is one of those fragrances that does not get much mentioned it's a very beautiful presentation it is not exactly blue but it is in the blue category but definitely it will suit winter better this is called afnan historic almeda and this one is like a column okay i don't know it's a greek column on whatever column or it looks like a graduate you know in that theme very beautiful bottle the box comes with magnetic box very beautiful presentation you can check it out uh, this thing the fragrance is very lovely okay and you know this one sometimes i call it like a bloody chanel dylan blue sort of a similar fragrance but i would not say it's a clone of any of that i get different things at different times this one gets a little bit sweeter you know in the dry down <clears throat> but the opening is very lovely this one so the opening is kind of like a shower gel and i will say also a little bit fruity it does have a citrusy not overtone, but there's a citrusy tone to that. Reminds me a little bit of a uh, Bleu de Chanel. Flight. <laughs> Sorry. So this thing is a uh, really, really high class. Like I would say, let that pass. Man, I miss doing this outdoor shoots during winter. You know, I just am so happy. I'm so uh, thankful to God to let me see one more winter. And I love doing these videos, you know. As the winter gets intense, you'll see me doing morning, wearing uh, jackets and hoodies. Anyway, coming back to this, this is a fragrance for you people. If you like grapefruit, citrus, and then blue notes, and if you do enjoy a Bleu de Chanel type of perfume, you'd like this. But 
this one has its own thing going it has a grapefruit brightness and there may be a little bit of a ginger and the dry down goes a little bit sweeter so this perfume it is that nature is like dylan blue meets savage not savage dylan blue meets bloody chanel but also has its own gourmand touches this perfume i really recommend for the winter time you can try it has good push as well like if you're wearing blue in the daytime of uh, winter summer whatever this fragrance will work it will be a good perfect office wear afnan historic all meta there's one for women as well <clears throat> so the third one i'm going to show is the perhaps the one of the biggest bottles that i have this is a bad boy cobalt by carina herrera uh, actually to be honest it should go like carina herrera because that's the brand well let's worry about the sound sound is good okay so this is actually like 150 ml bottle and it's very heavy this one is side of my head and this actually as heavy as my head which is very heavy as well so this one is a flanker to bad boy which is not a very popular fragrance uh, original bad boy came out as a female counterpart of uh, good girl but i think good girl was way better compared to bad boy the name itself did not match the perfume the original it was kind of like a nice sweet warm uh, playful nutty fragrance but i felt the other ones the other flankers were better the cobalt is very good elixir is better but elixir is good for night time night out daytime i would say wear cobalt cobalt is the blue fragrance that is from the line and opening is very beautiful this opening is 10 out of 10 this is literally like reminds me of uh, invictus legend by paco Rabanne and some of the other ones but the opening of this fragrance is the star and it does last about 34 35 minutes like that after that this fragrance becomes a little bit of the original dna but not as bad and the performance from this is way better than original so this thing you can definitely wear on day-to-day -day basis in winter uh, afternoons mornings daytime it's a good blue fragrance to wear kevin herrera bad boy cobalt definitely remember the name i write down the names don't worry and the number two <coughs> Uh, I think let me show you the number two I actually set up in a different way. Number two actually becomes number one. <laughs> okay, number two, I'll show you number one. Uh, I'll show you for a reason. Number two is going to be Dior Sauvage. I brought it back. Yes, uh, this is a blue fragrance category. I brought it back for a reason. This fragrance is now super expensive. And after reformulation, Dior Sauvage ET, it's good still. Still has the smell. This is my 2022 or 20 I, I don't remember what batch is this and this one definitely is uh, okay it's a batch of 281x or 251x something like that <coughs> sorry man that voice i had shouldn't have drunk uh, like shouldn't have drunk shouldn't have uh, shouldn't drink so much ice all right better so dior savage basically now is very expensive i would recommend actually dior savages other dupes they are actually doing better because the price point wise is better but uh, the reason why i put dior savage here if you can afford it still get it because dior savage edit in 2016 had these glorious days it used to perform like a beast this one 2020 whatever back this one performs well but after a while i cannot smell it now some worker is screaming when he sees me working you know like yeah uh, he's screaming because i am working trying to disturb me and then hiding as well on <coughs> that side anyway uh sweet stories okay so dior savage you can wear it it's a familiar dna only downside is this is very popular right now and even the clones they smell like this or better or performs better for a cheaper price point okay so dior savage definitely is a fragrance which is known but i would say still works i really get first time i wore this in bangladesh this one ultra male and uh ck reveal these, these three perfumes in bangladesh in winter time people used to look because I think I was the very first one to bring Dior Savage in Bangladesh. It was released that year and did not reach Bangladesh that time. And I was having the 60 ml of the vintage version. That used to be a very beast mode fragrance. Okay. So you can still try it. I mean, if you see, if you want to work. But I think out of all the Savages, I have to try the Forte. Uh, Elixir is the best in terms of smell. But also much more expensive than this. 200 ml is equivalent to 60 ml of Savage Elixir. So Dior Savage, uh, I would recommend highly really a good smell women really like that okay <clears throat> okay here is the number one okay the number one is actually i set it up as number two but i realized this thing is a way better value than dior savage this is uh like again blue theme you know so this is iconic club Dinui iconic by arma so why is arma like that okay so yeah they are calling i don't know why like bangladesh is a weird place you know people stare at your face and they call you and then you know just hide i don't know why <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, so this thing is a known uh, droop of blood channel. But I said in my review, this is not a pinpoint clone of blood channel, but the best. How is that working? Okay. <coughs> Sorry. This thing, the opening is, is on its own. I haven't found a single fragrance that smells like the magic of blood channel opening. That is the only reason I always wear blood channel when I crave for blood channel. Blood channel is the weakest fragrance till date, the EDT one. And the most expensive that thing i do not recommend people to buy unless you have a lot of money you can spare or you don't have an issue with cash then go for the edp or the puff up those are good but really as an alternative this thing lasts all day like if you put this in the morning go to work and then finish your work come back this actually reminds me of the sweeter days like cdnim you know like original cdnim with the silver spare that thing would last about almost 24 hours on the shirt people still get a beast mode crs this is not that beast mode like it will cover seven eight easy hours this one the untold these two are complement magnets so these are kind of blue fragrances i highly recommend and this is professional and i recommend this like when i go to shop last time i remember i went and then this guy was confused should i take this or not and it was not my shop i don't have a shop but i did tell him brother take this fragrance because you will actually enjoy the smell and this is what you're looking for one perfume for throughout the year this works all year right so only thing it will not work perhaps in the snow time okay we don't have snowing so no issue so this is an all-purpose like dior sauvage this is like all-purpose uh, freshy and all year all occasion right so this is the fragrance i highly recommend club dinui iconic this is my new bottle i actually will tell you get these fragrances as soon as possible because they have a tendency to uh, sort of uh, water down and reformulate fragrances and uh, you can also get these fragrances uh, dio they have a dio stick and they have a perfume oil version perfume oil version basically is like a pure oil and if you layered that with this uh, i don't think you will be anything less than uh, invincible mode okay so thank you so much for watching so let me do the uh, individual reviews hopefully i keep looking this way because uh, my mind you know the door is there so sometimes the helping hands they come up and then stare and the kids come so i'm with you know phobia you know like interruption all right that's why I don't do much of public videos. But anyway, let me do other two. Then I will go upload this. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.